Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of cancer for a special love bonus reading. Um, if you follow me, you'll know that I don't usually come live during the um, month, but I'm trying something new. So if you like it and you want more of these bonuses, just comment below and let me know. Also, in, I am an intuitive medium Reiki master. If you do not know me, I usually do Reiki in the general reads every month. Uh, we're not going to do that today, but I do have a special gift for you. So if you want to stay to the end, I will let you know what that is. If you are impatient, you can go ahead and click in the description box below to see what that gift is for you. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, what am I saying? Yes. So, okay. Sign of cancer. Sorry. It's getting distracted. These cards. The energy that I was getting before coming on camera was make sure you're getting what you need. Make sure that you're expressing what you want. Now, again, this is general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You could check out your moon and ri rising signs as well. Um, and it goes for singles and couples. I will let you know if it's for one specific, but this is for both. So make sure you are expressing your needs and what you want and making sure, make sure that if you are coupled up, that your partner is giving you what you want here. I'm definitely going to have to pull a couple more cards before I interpret those. Message here. Yeah. One more. All right, so you you start out with the death card here, and this is all about transformation. This is all all about also rising up. Because uh, for some of some of you here, and this is for you, those of you in a relationship. Um, actually, nope. They're telling me both. Uh, if you're, they're telling me that you basically lay down, and. Follow the lead of the other person where it's like, okay, whatever you want to do, that's fine. Okay. But they're, they're telling me here that it, there's something changing here with you guys. Okay. And that it's time to take a stand, time to turn it around and make sure that you are getting what you need. Um, that chariot is just moving forward, but it takes action. It takes work to do this. So what I'm saying to you is not just going to like happen right away. Um, I am feeling like it's, it's about gaining confidence within yourself and also trusting the person that you're with. So for those of you that are coupled up, it's about trusting the person that you're with to know that they love you. And if you change and if you grow, that they will still love you when you do that. So you have the death card, you have the chariot here, and you have the magician. And this is all followed with the three of swords. Yeah, I'm trying to pull another card. But what that's telling me is that once you take the stand and once you start working at this and transforming, they're telling me like position in your relationship. And this is for singles too. Yeah, this is for singles too. Like once you know... That when you're starting to date somebody, to make sure that you're not just going to go along with whatever they want to do. Like, take your stand. Because when you do, that other person is going to respect you a lot more than walk all over you. So if you've been basically in relationships and you feel as though this person, like these people just walk all over you and then leave you behind, because that's what I'm seeing here with the Three of Swords and the Six of Swords, is... They're doing this because you're teaching them how to treat you. And if you're always just going along with what they want, because uh, I feel like cancers are very family oriented and just keep the peace. And in order to keep the peace, it's kind of you just go along with whatever's happening. But there's heartbreak and there's there's walking away here. And, the, you know, you can see the energy over here versus the energy here. This is not so great energy. And I'm getting that some of you are saying like, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it. The person that you're with 
It's not that they mind it, they like it, but they can start to take advantage of it is what I'm getting. You have that magician card. So you have the ability to make these, oh, yes, make these changes. And when you do, that's when the relationship starts. Because those of you that are married or in long-term relationships, I feel as though it's been going this way for so long and now it's time to take the next step up. It's time to move on together, move up together. They're, they're basically making me feel like it's time to really go and go within both of you and to share that deep personal insecurities, fears, all of that. Take that step together. Because when you do that, then I feel as though you're going to manifest, yeah, you're going to manifest all the things that you want in life. For those of you that are single, this is something to do within yourself before you meet that person. And hopefully when you meet that person, that person has already done this themselves. So go within and, and face those fears, face those insecurities, heal yourself, get better. So that when you do meet somebody, you are going to be like, no, I want to go to that restaurant. Do you mind? Yeah. And it's telling me like end this cycle. The cycle of appeasing or pleasing. You can show love without giving in to everything that somebody else wants. Okay. What other messages do we have for the sign of cancer for love for February 2019? Okay, Pay attention to the red flags. These signs are cautioning you. So I feel like this is more for the single people, the people in relationships that are very, very recent is pay attention to those red flags. The questions that you have like, oh, okay, well, it'll get better when this happens. Or, well, maybe they're just busy. Or justifying their excuses is what I'm getting. So pay attention to those red flags. When they're red flags, they're red flags. And, you know, what happens is you ignore those red flags, hoping that the vision that you have of this relationship is going to be the outcome. But when you ignore the red flags, that's when, yeah, the outcome might be that, but it's not a happiness. It's not a happy outcome. It's a, what did I get myself into outcome? It is safe for you to love. And it says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And with this, they're bringing me back to, to this about going deeper and going within. When you can open that up to each other, the highest energy of all is there. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So some of you are with people that can financially support you and are staying because you have no money to get out on your own. And what I'm saying here is make a plan. Some of you are meeting people in work. Some of you are with people that you work with. actually feel like those are good relationships. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Love that because that goes along exactly with what we're talking about here about opening up to each other. Let them know more about you. Let them know what you really truly desire. That you have the union of hearts. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. So some of you are with your soulmate. And for those of you, this is what I'm talking about. Go within. Learn more. Be more connected. Because this is what they're saying. 
on a spiritual level. Because you're connected in all others, but let's get spiritual together. Connect on a spiritual level. Mind, body, soul, spirit. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. This is about expressing yourself more. Standing up for yourself more. You matter in this relationship. You matter in any relationship. When you realize that, that's when everything happens. That's when you manifest the type of love that you want. Okay, I hope that resonates with you guys. And if you're still here, thank you for sticking around. And now it's my opportunity to give you my free gift. Uh, so a couple of weeks ago, we, in the membership group, we did a session on breakups and ghosting. And with breakups, even though if it was a long time ago or recently, they affect us. And they, you know, sometimes cause insecurities and fears and lack of trust. And in this session, we basically, you know, received a message from Spirit in how to handle this. And we also do Reiki in the session for much longer than we do in our general reads on YouTube. So therefore, if you're interested in seeing what Spirit had to say about breakups and ghosting, and if you don't know what ghosting is, it's basically when somebody just disappears on you and they don't call or text. And if you try to call or text, they don't respond to you and they're just out of your life. Um, and it could be going along really, really well. And then boom, they're gone. So you can see what spirit has to say about breakups and ghosting, and you can also get some healing. So if you've ever been broken up with um, in the past, doesn't matter how long ago it was, this is a good session for you to get that healing and to release some of that energy that is there. All right, so that is my gift from me to you for Valentine's Day. I want to share love. And also, if you're interested and you're alone on Valentine's Day, please join me. I will be doing live free readings in the Facebook group, uh, D's Divine Guidance VIPs. The link is below as well if you want to join. It's 8.30 Eastern Standard Time on Valentine's Day night. I'll probably be going for an hour or so, so you can join in whenever. All right. Much love to you. Stand up for you. You matter. And make sure that the person that you're with knows that. They love you, but you matter as well. All right. Much love. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.